Look, the Hunter Biden trial is unfolding after Donald Trump was convicted of 34 felonies in New York City. Emily, can I, first of all, so much is happening over in, in America. Can I get your reaction to, to, that, uh, to that outcome? Yeah, I mean, I think it was entirely predictable. Um, you know, it was a, a jury in Manhattan, so the likelihood that he was going to be convicted, I would have put money on it. I didn't, but if I would have, I would have been right because it just, yeah. uh, it seemed like, you know, there was there was also even just some of the evidence that was allowed in. This judge, by the way, actually donated a small amount of money uh, to Democrats, which is a strange thing for a judge to do. It just looked like it was never going in Trump's favor, even though the uh, legal questions about the underlying nature of the prosecution, I think, are extremely serious, that you have the statute of limitations passing. So a prosecutor who ran on a partisan ticket then trumps up the charges, uh, no pun intended, actually, to be felonies uh, when they would typically be misdemeanors because they're in the service or in the furtherance of a separate crime. But Donald Trump was not charged with that underlying crime. Uh, which is a very, very strange thing to do. Even MSNBC was calling this a novel legal theory. Questions were raised in the New York Times about the wisdom of this novel legal theory. Uh, so it, it just, in court, though, uh, seemed as though be, what had gone through the legal process, what had actually gotten to the jury, was going to go against Trump. Mm. I obviously got your opinion on whether or not we'll see Hunter Biden put behind bars, but what's your take on whether we'll see Donald Trump actually sentenced to prison? It's a really, really hard question to answer, and partially because I just don't want to answer it because I'm not super optimistic. I don't think it's obviously a good thing for the country to see a former president behind bars, especially because this is somebody who ran on, uh, you know, basically was announcing his presidential run as James Comey was. And a lot of people in the United States still see letting Hillary Clinton off the hook, the other opponent off the hook. And Hunter Biden obviously has not been. They let the statute of limitations elapse on his Foreign Agents Registration Act prosecution or the potential for those charges to be brought. Uh, so, you know, it, it doesn't feel uh, like a healthy place that the United States is in. Uh, so I kind of don't even want to think about it. But I will say I think that it's it's not a, a zero possibility. I think there's a significant chance. I'm not saying it's greater than 50 percent. Maybe it's around 30 percent. Uh, yeah. Because this is a judge, by the way, who donates, you know, as a judge, who gives such a small amount of money to Democrats for political purposes? It's it's sort of a big breach of decorum. Uh, so it feels like there's a real possibility that Judge Juan Marchand uh, does. He very much wants to. He's, he has a partisan uh, kind of opinion on whether Donald Trump uh, is good for the country. And that can certainly lead to him being behind bars. He has a really strong case on appeal. Some legal analysts think that it should go all the way up to the Supreme Court. Uh, I think it is likely that he has a strong case for appeal. But uh, his sentencing is four days before the Republican National Convention. Uh, there would be mm. just so much drama surrounding it. And that might even you know, make the judge more likely uh, to slap him with a charge because he does or to slap him with a sentence uh, in prison because he doesn't want it to look like he's getting uh, off easy right before the convention yeah. before he's nominated. Yeah, that's true. Well, of course, we'll have to wait and see in sane times uh, in America at the moment. Well, the first major swing state poll following Trump's guilty verdict found a solid lead for the Republican candidate. According to the poll, Georgia voters found Trump well, they favour, rather, Trump over Biden, 49% to 44%. Emily, why do you think that is? Yeah, uh, it's a really... Th these polls are really important. Uh, and one thing I also think is worth noting is that Joe Biden is out there campaigning just like he did in 2020, with this major theme of decency, civility, normalcy, lowercase d, democracy, to a lot of voters, actually, I think this prosecution of a president, which is unprecedented, as everyone basically understands and admits and concedes, that feels like chaos to people. It doesn't help Biden make this uh, argument that he is the guy for stability and calm and normalcy. So in a way, I think this can really backfire on Joe Biden. I think it fires up Trump support supporters. I think for the average voter, it's kind of baked into the Trump cake. He ran. I mean, you can go back, pull the clips of him saying, I alone can fix the American system because I know it. I'm part of it. So I think Trump always had this kind of like you know borderline white collar uh, malfeasance, you know, thing to him. He was sort of always open that he gamed the system in the United States. You know, he wasn't out there saying, hey, I'm a, a criminal. Uh, but he was saying, basically, you know, I, I know how corruption works. So I don't think it right. does move most voters. I do think it really fires up Trump supporters. 
Um, and I also think that it, it gives maybe some of those, again, Dem-leaning independents pause uh, as to whether Joe Biden's actually the candidate of normalcy and decency and democracy. We are going to see Joe Biden and Donald Trump go head to head in a debate at the end of the month. What can we expect? Yeah, uh, you know, Biden always performed in those debates in 2020 better than I expected him to, uh, given the way he performs. Often on the campaign trail, he seems to, as everyone is familiar with, we've seen the videos when he's president, when he was running, to struggle uh, getting through like normal human interactions, loses his place in the middle of questions. We didn't really see that version of Joe Biden show up to the debates. Maybe it's because it's a short time span. It's more controlled. Uh, I would expect him to be ready to rumble uh, with Donald Trump and maybe surprise some people. Again, people can under can make an argument for why he's able to perform, perform so well in a debate. I don't know what the answer is. I think maybe it is a more controlled setting, but he has generally overperformed mm. expectations. Donald Trump uh, is actually fighting for his life at this point. He's he's fighting to stay out of prison because if he becomes president, he can pardon himself. So that you know puts the stakes at a different level for him. So maybe we see a calmer. Uh, Donald Trump, a more serious, a grave Donald Trump, uh, knowing that, you know, his his life is at stake, actually, this time yeah. around. Perhaps. We will, of course, wait and see. Emily Dishingsey, so great to speak with you. Thank you. Thanks for having me.